Tonight, a woman is recovering after she was shot and then rescued by a Brevard County deputy who drove her to a medical helicopter nearby. Now the search continues for the person who shot her in a Coco neighborhood. Channel 9's Roy Ramos live right now where the shooting happened. And Roy, you spoke with neighbors who are concerned for their own safety. Martha, residents tell me they worry knowing that this gunman is still out there on the loose, especially because they don't have a lot of information as to what ultimately led up to the shooting that happened inside the home you're looking at right there. Now, when I spoke with these residents, they told me they knew it'd be difficult to locate the gunman, especially with all this thick brush that surrounds the neighborhood. This is like you see on the news, and it's always somebody else's neighborhood. But this time, Carlton Bailey learned it was his neighborhood, where Brevard County Sheriff deputies were investigating a shooting where a woman was shot several times. I got here. I just saw the crime scene tape around the house. I saw the, the sheriff's uh, cars. We watched as dozens of investigators gathered outside a home on a taco court in Coco while crime scene techs scattered evidence from inside. According to detectives, just before 11 this morning, deputies received a 911 call from the home reporting a woman was shot. When they arrived, investigators said a deputy put the victim in his patrol car and drove her to the helicopter to be airlifted to the hospital. Until the names are released, you, you don't know if it's a cl close friend of yours or somebody else's, and yeah, it's disturbing. <laughs> even more concerning for Bailey and his neighbors, the gunman is still on the loose. As deputies blocked off streets, we saw them searching passing cars for the suspect, but residents say the biggest challenge for deputies is the layout and landscape of their neighborhood. There's so many side streets, so many woods, it'd be very, very easy to, to, high, uh, you know, to get away. And as we come back out live from that home that is still surrounded with crime scene tape, we can tell you that right now we are working to get the name of the victim. We're also working to get the name of the person that deputies are searching for and the relationship between the two. As soon as we get that information, we'll let you know. For now, here in Brevard County, Roy Ramos, Channel 9 Eyewitness News.